Playback singer Kanika Kapoor actually scored her first big hit with the music video Jagni G, which paved the way for her subsequent Bollywood movie breakthrough track, Baby Doll. She's maintained her chart-topping standards ever since, acquiring a worldwide fan base in the process. Some of her most devoted followers are here in South Africa, and they flocked to her recent concert in Durban. Let's share some of the highlights. Currently one of India's top female playback singers, Kanika Kapoor has a number of awards and massive album sales as proof of her success. Her rapid rise is all the more impressive considering her relatively late entry into the music industry. Karisha was curious to get the background story while also enjoying the star's live performance. According to a recent study, attending one concert every two weeks can increase your levels of happiness, contentment, self-esteem and productivity. While that theory might be a bit of a stretch, we've got it all lined up for you on Mela at the Kanika Kapoor concert at the Durban ICC. I'm here early to catch the behind the scenes and the mounting excitement. Kanika doesn't cut corners when it comes to her stage shows and technicians, dancers and directors of the various technical and artistic departments were hard at work preparing for the performance. I've managed to catch writer and director of tonight's show, Varshan, for a little chat. Varshan, welcome to Miller. Thank you, Karisha. What have you incorporated into the show? It's a theatrical coming alive on stage, which is something very unique to a rockish, popish type Bollywood concert. We've ne never seen something like this before. So sort of going to the theatre on a weeknight, but also getting to party at the same time, which is such a unique concept. And then getting the opportunity to write for Kanika Kapoor has probably been one of the greatest learning experiences I've had in my life. You've managed to pull together different genres and cultures. Well, the good thing about tonight is we get to give one stage, one platform to people of different cultures, different race groups, as well as people from different countries. So we get to celebrate that heritage with Indian roots and we get to celebrate the heritage with African roots as well. I'm thoroughly looking forward to it. Thanks for chatting to us. There was an AV plan for every item on the program and the backing musicians had to set up their instruments for a sound check. We are just a few hours from the start of the show. Everything almost looks set up. Just last minute rehearsals and the excitement is definitely building. You can't have indie pop and Bollywood music without dynamic dancing. And here too, every move had to be choreographed and rehearsed. How did you come to be involved in this show? Well, I'm the executive producer and the choreographer for the Kanika Kapoor Heritage Day series. And the way that this came about was I actually met Ramad, the producer, at Essence Festival last year. He approached me as a choreographer first, because first and foremost, I am a dancer. And since we got to talking and we shared ideas and we were very like-minded, he immediately put me on as executive Producer. What was the process of blending the different genres? We really do have such a diverse cast. It's kind of just a rainbow nation on stage at the moment. We have some Pansula dancers, we have Gumboot, we have Contemporary, we have Hip Hop, we even have a, a couple of fire specialists as well. So it really has just been this mashup of talent from the dance perspective, but also from culture. Kanika has become a Bollywood playback star in her own right, and the show picked up on the movie making theme. Nice is falling and people will be arriving shortly. So that's my cue to go and get ready. Fans were already filling the venue when Karusha went off to slip into her red carpet outfit. And having stocked up on popcorn and snacks, they could relax and enjoy chart topping videos from Kanika's catalog while looking forward to the live performance. I'm looking most forward to seeing Kanika perform live for the first time. Love, love her music. It's amazing. It's awesome. What song are you most looking forward to tonight? Baby Doll. Baby Doll. <laughs> Baby Doll was the first hit that marked Kanika's breakthrough as a Bollywood playback singer for the soundtrack of Ragini MMS2. Are you going to get up and dance when Baby Doll comes on? Most probably, you'd have to hold me down. <laughs> I'm on the red carpet. There is definitely a buzz. People are taking their seats. I've got my ticket and I'm going to go in. Born in Lucknow, Kanika was 12 when she began her studies in classical music, going on to complete a master's degree. For the 15 years of her marriage to a UK businessman, she neither recorded nor performed. But following her divorce, she relocated to Mumbai and rebooted her musical career as a 30-something. From that point on, there was no stopping her.
multi award winning vocalist and music director Lata Mangeshkar represents the gold standard of playback singers and she is deeply respected by all performers in this field. Performing a Lata Mangeshkar number is both a tribute to the icon and the supreme test of a singer's abilities. And Kanika did herself and Lata proud. studio, playback singers can finesse their performance with multiple takes, but the stage allows only one opportunity to get it right. Kanika won a Funfair Award for Best Female Playback Singer when she made her debut in the industry, and a live performance in Durban showed that she has everything it takes to hold an audience in the palm of her hand. Strolling entertainment is what we were promised and the organizers definitely delivered. Award-winning Bollywood singer Kanika Kapoor performed tonight at the Durban ICC along with spectacular sound, lighting and pyrotechnic and of course our amazing local dancers. No matter what genre of music you prefer, there was something for everyone tonight and it was definitely a night to remember. Yeah.